Well, do you feel like the city's getting windier? If so, you're definitely not alone. Meteorologist Audrey Puente joins us now with a closer look at what's behind this windy weather pattern. What's going on, Audrey? Well, that's right. If you feel like the wind has been whipping nonstop lately, you're right. The tri state area stuck in a gusty pattern for the last few weeks. So let's break down the science behind it all. From toppled patio furniture to trees bending in the breeze, our area has been caught in what feels like a never ending wind tunnel. Nelson Vaz is from the National Weather Service. What we've had is uh, uh, several storm systems over the last week or two that have moved across the central United States into the Great Lakes, into the um, interior uh, or southeastern Canada. And then we've had high pressure off the coast. And in between those two systems, um, uh, what we call tightly packed isobars or tightly pr uh, packed uh, lines of equal pressure. And the more of those uh, kind of equal uh, lines of uh, equal pressure, those uh, isobars, the more tightly they're packed, the stronger the winds are going to be. And we found ourselves in, in that situation the last couple of weeks. This is also the result of clashing air masses, according to meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. We're having a change in the season, which you would expect for this time of year, being uh, spring. This year, because of a lot of different forcing mechanisms, the polar vortex collapse, tropical forcings kind of all over the place, is leading to enhancement of the polar and subtropical jet streams. What that basically means for you is that Cold fronts and low pressure systems are a little bit more amped. Here in the city, it's even worse as the wind gets squeezed between skyscrapers. What would normally be a 20 mile per hour wind gust ends up being a 40 mile per hour wind gust because that air is being forced into be in between those two large buildings. This windy weather pattern is expected to last through the end of the month. As we move through April into May, you'll just have you know an occasional breezy day, but for the most part, things will start to calm down. And then we have to look out for severe thunderstorms. Average wind gusts this month have been 25 to 30 miles per hour, which the National Weather Service classifies as a strong breeze. However, more than half the days had 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts, which is near gale force winds. And